Strict Beats. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. I am going to resume tomorrow. I'm trying to get everything uh, taken out that I want to get taken out of the engine bay. I was going to try to finish it tonight, but I don't have a uh, air hammer chisel that I want to get that help me get this stuff done. And plus, I don't know if you can see it, but it is going to. Don't know. I don't know if I can see it. Uh, there, uh, it's lightning back there, a little the rumble of, of, in the clouds and stuff like that. I don't know if it's coming this way, but the temperature did did change dramatically. So I'm going to show you what I did. I try to get accomplished, not completely accomplished, but I try to do. I did this off of camera because it's my first time ever doing it. So I'm sorry if I didn't, you didn't see everything, uh, but I will resume in the daylight. Uh, unfortunately, um, right now it's just, you know, it's got dark on me and, you know, it's about to rain, that's what they say. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got done and what's going to be finished tomorrow. So, this is going to be a two-part that's going to all be in one video. So, I'm going to go ahead and quit talking and show you real quick. All this right here is done. That's done. That is going to come out all that was there. and then this side if you see this side it doesn't have any punches on it um, but you know I'm gonna take that out tomorrow and then I cleaned up this stuff right here and got all that stuff off that is right here if you can see it that little gray stuff little blue, blue yellow um, yellow stuff that's right there I got that off on this side um, I am going to resume on the back back there back here and get this done and get all this cleaned up tomorrow so with that being said guys I am going to pause this video and pick up tomorrow morning hopefully the weather is feasible and I can get this done so you guys stay tuned and we'll get this knocked out okay guys I didn't record this because I was trying to see what it would look like when I did this. Unfortunately, I kind of messed up on some things, but at the same time, I can fix it. Just got to get some things done to get it fixed. But at the same time, everything is just going to be time consuming. And FYI, make sure you wear earplugs when you're using a freaking air hammer. Because, good lord, my ears are still ringing. So... I'm gonna show you guys what I got done and show you the mess that I made plus the big hole that I put in my car on top of what I was doing. So let's look at the mess and the hole. And there's the hole right there. That's the hole. I'm gonna try to try to figure out a way to fix that. Probably put a piece of metal or something right there to get that done. Uh, there are some holes and stuff I'm going to have to patch up. I'm thinking about cutting some metal and forming it and shaping it to the, to the side of this. So that way I can weld the piece back on that was from there onto the metal piece. That way I have a little more sturdier piece for the bracket instead of using that. I don't know yet. It's not set in stone. Um, I was thinking about that when I was looking at it and um, this is the mess on the floor um, and 
I will be starting with this side tomorrow when I get off this is going to be the other side I will record this side unfortunately I will record this side um, and that way you can see what happens what happened when I did this side maybe it'll be better than doing this side I have more you know knowledge of what I was doing this time on this side so um, hopefully with this side it will be easier those three rivets right there or let me show you real quick these three one two three it's gonna be a pain in the butt that's what happened on the other side uh, they were so close together it just wound up with the a hair hammer it wound up um, taking the metal on this off and this one might be a pain this one might be a pain um, at the same time I am taking it off because I'm not going to be using it and I'm going to be doing some other things to make it look code aesthetic on that and um, taking this off right here tomorrow like I said and then um, start getting ready to bondo some of this stuff try to get all this off this whatever you want to call it silicone mud or whatever you want to call it get that off so that way when I get ready to start sanding all this stuff will be off um, I figured out it would be something kind of easy if I can get it all off so that way I don't paint with it excuse me paint with it on the car and all that so I am going to resume this video um, there's so much to this, to this video of, of me getting the engine bay done and stuff like that so bear with me and we'll get this project done and getting things get things to look like how I want it and how I picture it after I get it done like I said I don't know about the metal parts but I think about using like a small piece of metal that way it's not bulgy and that way I can tap on to that instead of trying to tap back on to what I was going to paint that way when I paint it'll be flush and everything look will look good to that point to where I can still do certain things and paint at the same time so I'm going to stop rambling and I will continue this video tomorrow